Morning. It's seven minutes past seven now. Very good morning to you. First this morning, though, BBC Radio Leicester has been leaked a document on the future of Leicestershire's museums, which the County Council has publicly denied exists. The confidential document is a discussion draft of a study understood to have been commissioned by Leicestershire County Council. It's by the London law firm Winkworth Sherwood and is dated February 2014. But when challenged about the Winkworth Sherwood report at a meeting last week, senior councillor Richard Blunt said, and I'm quoting from published council minutes, there was no report. Well, BBC Radio Leicester's political reporter Tim Parker has been uh, following the story and can tell us more and joins us on the line now uh, from where are you this morning, Tim? Good morning. Yes, I'm outside Snibston uh, Museum this morning, in the, uh, right on the edge of Colville Town Centre. Mm. So, tell us more about this uh, this report, Tim. Well, Councillor Richard Blunt has been blunt, as we say. There, were, there was no wink with Sherwood report. We've been leaked parts of what appears to be a draft. What are we supposed to make of that? Well, either Councillor Blunt was never aware of its existence or the report he was referring to was never completed. However, there are those who consider that with the leaking of this document, albeit a draft, Councillor Blunt has been less than forthright in stating there was no report. We've invited the County Council to respond this morning. They've not been able to put anyone forward for an interview, but have provided the following statement. We have nothing to add to the answers given by Mr Blunt to questions at the full meeting of the County Council on Wednesday, July the 2nd, which were accurate. The County Council needs to save more than £110 million and can't afford to keep subsidising Snibson by more than £800,000 per year. The consultation process enables people to make their own comments and suggestions until July the 7th, that is today, of course, Jim. No decisions will be taken until an analysis of the consultation results is presented to the Council's Cabinet in September. Now, one of those looking for an explanation about the document referring to Winkworth Sherwood's work on Leicestershire's museums, that's all of them, is Liberal Democrat County Council and Museum spokesman Michael Charlesworth. He's, he's with me outside Snibston this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us here. It was you, as Lib Dem spokesman on museums, who tabled the question to Councillor Blunt at last week's full Council meeting. Why? What, what were you hoping to be told? Well, we'd heard so many rumours about uh, this wink with Sherwood thing. Um, a note had come down to us, a briefing note um, from the chief exec's department, basically saying uh, there was some. It was being looked into, um, but n- we'd had no progress over the last few weeks. So I thought some questions about the cost of the report, um, and the reply from Mr. Blunt, as you have seen, was that there is no cost on the report because there is no report. Now you've shown me the facing page of what looks like a report this morning. Um, and if there is a report, he should have said that in the answer. I mean, I wasn't asking for any specific report, preliminary, final, draft, just if there was a report, and he clearly said there was no report, but it seems that this morning you've shown me the facing page of a report which suggests that Mr Blunt um, probably at best has been misleading counsel. The, the, they may say, of course, well, that wasn't a report because it was just a, you know, a draft document. What would be your response to that? Uh, Weasel words. If there is some sort of report there, it should have been presented. Uh, We we are the scrutiny committee that's looking at libraries and Snibston and the other museums. If there's information out there that's pertinent to the work we're doing, it should have been put before us. What do you think this uh, final report, had it been written, would have suggested to the council about the museum we're standing in front of now? Well, I I have seen the bidding um, document from Wink with Sherwood, and that clearly looked at charitable status and a not-for-profit organisation, and their options that we've always suggested should be on the table for museums, not just Snibston, but all museums. Um, but it was quite clear early on that somebody very high up wanted the only option for Snibston, and that was the mining focus museum. Um, we've always worked with the friends of Snibston and said there must be other options to be looked at, and clearly Wink with Sherwood have come up with other options and we're being denied the chance to look at them. 
and as far as you're aware, well, the report you've got, which appears to be different to what I've seen, um, does look at all the other museums as well. It's not simply Snibston, is it? No, it's all the museums. And Winkworth Sherwood are, are well known in working with local authorities. They've done a lot of work at Derby and other county councils and borough councils up and down the country, restructuring museum services into charitable or not-for-profit organisations. And it's worked. Um, it should have been before us. Um, and I want to see this report, uh, whatever you call it, preliminary, draft, whatever, we need to see it. What are you going to do next then to to, try and make that happen? I have made a Freedom of Information request to the County Council for any work reports done by Winkworth Sherwood this year. I try to be as general as possible in that request. Uh, I think it's an absolute shame that a county councillor now has to make a freedom of information request to obtain material which should be put before us as a matter of course. And I think that's a sad day for the council. Finally, um, the, 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 what's going to, you know, as I say, happen next? If you feel that, that you can't get the answers you want, what, what more can you do? <laughs> um, if they're determined to keep this information secret, I, I'm no doubt they can hide behind lawyers and legal issues and keep it suppressed. I, I don't blame Winkworth Sherwood. They're a reputable company. They've got their future to consider. Uh, the County Council has got to give up this information and paperwork to county councillors. It can be done under a confidential basis. I mean, I, I would have thought even the suggestions in the report, whether it be charitable status or not for profit, they were no big deal. We could have looked at it, and if the argument had been against it, fine. But the fact was, secrecy's come into it, and we can't understand why this cloak and dagger stuff is operating at the council. Well, uh, as I say, we've heard uh, the response from the County Council this morning who've made it, as I say, absolutely clear that Mr Blunt's answers to your question were accurate at the time. Um, as, I say, as I said earlier, they weren't able to put anyone forward for discussion this morning, but we will continue to uh, approach them about that. Councillor Michael Charleswood, thank you very much for joining me here this morning. After eight, as the County Council consultation on the future of Snibston closes, what next for campaigners? I'll be here to find out. OK, Tim, thanks very much indeed. Our political reporter Tim Parker there for us outside Snibston on the morning of the uh, the day the consultation closes. Uh, we'll have more on the story as it develops here on BBC Radio Leicester. It's 14 minutes past seven. And the headlines this morning. Leicestershire County Council is denying the existence of a draft of a report looking into alternatives for the future of our museum service. Air passengers travelling to the